Hey, uh, Kekers here. I'm back with a few more tips to help your games. Now, this one's primarily for the players, but you DMs can also join in on this. Now, for this list series, I'm only limiting it to spells and PHB for the express purpose that I want this list and these tips to be helpful for anyone just starting out in D&D and for someone who only has access to the bare necessities of the game. If you want us to get into things like the supplementals, then write in the comments section and we'll try and add some of those later on. But for now, let's get started. Here's your top five spells by level. Ranger's Edition, level one. Fifth place, Hail of Thorns. Now, Hail of Thorns is a great fight starter for those distance focused rangers. It's one of those set it and forget it spells. You use it as a bonus action and it basically turns your ranged attack into a grenade launcher, letting you pick out a specific group of enemies and just cause so much damage and so much confusion in their ranks. And because its concentration can be held for up to a minute off of a bonus action, you can hold this thing for like six rounds. It is a great way to whittle, um, whittle down some minor enemies, some minions, and to do some heavy damage on the big guy who's probably got them grouped around protecting him. Now, spoiler alert, most of the spells in this list aren't really damage dealing spells, but when you have a level one ability, which is a bonus action, which can be held for up to six rounds, which deals an extra D10 of damage on the target and on enemies within five feet of it, and can be stacked on like your regular attacks, yeah, if you don't have it in your wheelhouse, then you are playing ranger wrong when it comes to damage. Fourth place, Long Strider. Now, I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, but listen to me. One action, one hour, plus 10 movement. Listen to me on this one. This will make you a better tracker, and since it lasts for an hour, it requires no concentration, this is gonna make you a better fighter. You're gonna be able to more easily zip around the battlefield, get in and out, and if you put this on like your speediest character, then they're going to be untouchable on the field of battle. This combined with a bunch of other feats and abilities you can take can turn you into an utter speed demon. Long Strider, it, Long Strider is the start of the cross-country racer. Don't overlook it. Third place, Hunter's Mark. Speaking of being a tracker, this one's going to be your bread and butter. Up to an hour at the start, you get advantage on perception and survival checks in order to track a target. You don't even need to do anything. You just look at them, bam, they're marked. But also on top of that, you get an extra D6 of dice added to any attack you make. Any attack with like your weapon is just bam, extra D6 on top of it, as long as you're keeping this up. And if you manage to actually kill your target, you can move it to another creature that you see for an hour. This thing is just gonna stay up for like the entire battle, unless you got another concentration thing you're gonna be doing. But at the start, this is gonna be a really good one to keep. And because of all the different things that rangers can do to stack on to their regular attacks, this is just another one that makes this thing even better. But yeah, this is gonna be making certain that you never lose sight of your target. And if you do, you just go and find them. Yeah, Hunter's Mark is great. The damage rider is good, but really where it comes to it, really where it's good is the tracking part. Second place, Good Berry. Good Berry at number two? Yeah, Kekkers, you've lost your mind, right? Wrong. Here's the thing about Good Berry. It is up to 10 berries, which give you just enough food for your entire party, plus then some. But more important, it heals one hit point. Now, here's the thing, one hit point is nothing, right? You got your healers, you got your healing potions, but one action, 10 berries that heal one hit point each. You've just made a level one item which can basically revive people from negative hit points because it'll act just like a potion. So somebody drops, 
instead of wasting like one of your heals, which will just pop them up to zero and maybe a little bit higher, you give them a good berry and it will automatically bring them back to one hit point. You don't have to worry about food and supplies and you've got an unlimited supply of mid-battle like self-revise, they'll just get your party member back up. Now, of course, they're back up at one hit point, but you get another good berry in them and they're good. Good berry is the best low level ability for keeping your party alive in dire straits. It's cheap, it's fast, it works. First place, speak with animals. Okay. Here it is. If you don't have this spell, why are you even a ranger? It gets you 10 minutes of being able to talk with any animal, no matter what. Now, some people worry about picking between speak with animals and charm animals. I'm here to tell you, if you know how to speak with animals, your skills are going to take care of the rest. The problem with charming animal is, is that you don't really have much you can do with them. You can like order them to do certain things, um, but that's just like training a pet. If you can speak with them, then anything you tell them stays after you stop being able to talk with them. If you tell them to go do something and you make the proper skill checks in order to convince them to do it, then they'll do it regardless of being charmed because they're your friend now. Charming forces the animal to do something. Speak with the animal lets you convince an animal to do something. And if you're a ranger, isn't convincing the animals to do something far more important to you? It's far more lasting, it's far more impactful, and it's going to, in the long run, save your ass far more. Which is, which is better? Um, charming the squirrel or charming the bear in order to like leave your party alone where if push comes to shove you could just kill the thing? Or speaking with animal to convince the bear that hey, if you help him out, there's some food over there. But also, are there any enemies in the area? Or uh, have you seen some strange goings on? Uh, is there magic popping off somewhere? Um, have the stars changed? Whatever. You can speak, you can figure stuff out, and your skills will make up for the actual convincing and charming. Because you're a ranger, you use that stuff. Anyway, I'm Keckers, and this is Top 5 Spells for Rangers, Level 1. I'll see you next time. Just remember to hit that like button and subscribe. Have a good day. Bye-bye.